what we can do to encourage and support smokers to quit is one of the most important things that we can be doing as a cancer organisation. For many decades now, we've hosted the Quit Line, which is providing one-to-one -one support for smokers, helping them through the quitting journey, which can be quite difficult for many smokers given the high levels of addiction. Cancer Council and Deakin Health Economics commenced this partnership some time ago. What we wanted to do was to really bring light to the areas of cancer work we're doing, both prevention, supportive care, and identify not only how effective these programs were, but also whether they represented good value for money. The first phase of the collaboration very much focused on prevention of cancer. So some of the early projects looked at interventions for reducing the risk factors for cancer, and one of those, for example, was smoking. So we identified the quit line as an area where we would like to understand more about its value for money. We looked at the long-term outcomes from the quit line, the amount of money that we're investing in the quit line to achieve those outcomes. We use what's called a, a modelling approach, and in that sort of approach, you take a theoretical population, you imagine that you're providing the people who smoke in that population with a quit line service for a year, and then you look at the effectiveness and the costs. Even in the most conservative scenarios, the service was cost effective. And generally, and in the main analysis, the service actually improved health benefits and saved costs. So the evaluation provided this sort of robust economic evidence, which was then used as part of advocating for continued quitline services um, and contributed to the um, renewed five-year contract. Having that evidence to not only demonstrate internally but also to our funders is a really important part of the work that we do as an organisation. We want to make sure that Cancer Council and the organisations that we collaborate with are getting best value for money from the interventions that we provide. I think what we've seen over the period of our partnership with Deakin is that the relationship has grown deeper as we develop those capabilities in both organisations of how to translate economic evidence into practice and how we can use practice to inform economic evidence. That relationship is really developing. It's enabled us to extend into other areas, looking at the opportunities to understand how we can best support cancer patients through a cancer experience and what are going to be the most effective and best value ways that we can support cancer patients. That's really exciting work and I think comes out of a relationship where Deakin and the Cancer Council have developed a really strong understanding of the capabilities and expectations of both our parties. Because we have that partnership, because I'm an embedded researcher within Cancer Council Victoria, it means that we're having those conversations about policy relevant research so that the work that we do does have direct impact on policy and practice and that is so rewarding as a researcher. It's fantastic to, to, to have that sort of level of impact and, and to see how your work can be affecting the, the lives of people that are, uh, that are suffering through cancer.